Right folks, we're going to start another video. I've actually just got halfway through and we've had to abandon a set. We've got two D'Amico convoys in. So they also appear as a Sun 401 from a dealer in Sheffield. And one's got a problem with receive, one's got a problem with transmit. I did just power this up and it's also got a problem with a dry joint causing the VCO not to be in operation. I'll get Mr Chippy onto that later. So, um, we're going to start a new video, even though I'm two thirds of the way through the other one. But I've had to order some um, MOSFET transistors, two SK 59s, and um, they're coming from Germany. Right, and so a few weeks later, we have this from Germany some correct number transistors. Oh, we've got this in English. So they've ended up, they were five pounds each and I had to buy five. But at the time, you know, transistors like 40673, which will be probably the correct equivalent, would also have been four pounds 99 at the time. So marching on all these years, these are definitely K59. that's what we're looking for so we won't swap them both we'll swap one and see what happens so we may as well the most likely to be affected by some massive signal would be the first one but this set isn't deaf it's just slightly deaf uh, where have we with the figures where's my clipboard gone it's behind you. Um, yeah, two microvolts. So, I mean, there's some radios as bad as this, like the Cobra 29. Like the three we've got anyway. But I think, well, I know this should be better, but we've no proof that it ever was better. This particular set may have been the, the not-so-good one. So we've changed both the filters, just to recap. So I've come back to this loads of time later we've changed the ceramic other ceramic filter um, we've checked we've got the reference oscillator working and at the correct frequency so we will go for the first transistor they're not going to be easy to swap I can't test them our transistor tester doesn't do four leg transistors um, so which is the first one and which is the second I want transistor 11 Transistor 11 is our first one here, and transistor 12 is the second one there. So I'm going to be swapping this one as the first job. Why is that bridge to that? And is it on the other set? See how useful it is to have two sets on the go. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> Making sure the afterthought parts are going to the same place. We've got an extra. No, we haven't. I'll tell a lie. No, they're all. It's all the same. Right, I'll pause the video and we'll get this changed. So it's Monday yesterday. I spent about four hours on a D'Amico convoy and we've got a receive problem on that and I'm waiting for parts again. So that's not happening. Right, so because this radio has been kind of getting parts over the last six weeks or so I don't know how much of this footage we have got so it's a chassis from the trade we finally got to the bottom of it um, you should have seen we've changed the filters and we've changed the dual gate FETs some other bits and pieces we've got changed 
and eventually we have finally got the final part which is faulty which is the 27 peak fire capacitor C61 which is there and I probably said in the last video comparing it to another set with the same chassis the tuning position of this coil was grossly wrong leading me to the assumption quite correctly that something was wrong in that area so let's just go through a final thing make sure it's okay and then it can go back to the customer so I, so I don't know how much of this video we've got and so it's a trade repair it's the chassis only so um, I've got to go I'll tell you what we'll go back I'm sure we've got it on the clipboard somewhere where's the clipboard Turn that volume down so as not to annoy everybody. D'Amico Convoy. See, there's two in for repair from him. Yeah, the other one's got intermittent VCO, so it's this one. So we've got two microvolts on the receive. So I've gone through the receiver again. And let's see what the outcome is. Just check we've got... Can't be really wrong with the... Uh, I did just check everything still. spot on because some of these early stages can be affected by that being faulty I mean I was beginning to think the coil was short of turns or something just check it's finally in the right position yeah okay so let's read off what we've got we've now got sensitivity at 0.46 microvolts We've got 10 dB. Not point four one. And we've got 20 dB. If it ever does it. No, it's never going to do it. Now that's interesting because that's usually sounds like the uh, detector's not in the right position. Telescope up. Just check the IF.
Okay, wow. Well. Unless the radio is off frequency. Very slightly. Is that as high as it's going to go? Well, it's not stupidly out and it's a trade repair. It, by the time the test instrument's been on a bit longer, it's only been on half an hour. That's going to be uh, well over 100, I'm sure. And we will come back to that. So, I'll, to be fair, I'll put the signal generator down a bit. Right. So then we'll just do those detector and IFs again. Go back to the oscilloscope. Put 100 microvolts back on the signal generator. Do the IFs again. just in case that was slightly lopsided but it's so close anyway right see whether we can get um, see what we've got now because it may have altered 0.5 so read 0.5 there 0.41 No, it's never going to do 20 It's just noise that, it's not It's going to do 18 3 microvolts Well, it didn't before So 3 microvolts, 18 dB Uh, squelch. So put the squelch to full. That's one of those, is it? Put the attenuator up so you can see where I am.
Well, to get a good spout squelch range, we've got to have it such that it never opens at full. So we've got 0 0.3 microvolts there. Um, and I've got um, 30 millivolts. So it's not, not good at that end, but... Um, Yeah, just look at the sensitivity at the other end. So set threshold. It's 0.3. So there we go. Uh, just check the transmit power. And what we've got. We're on the, three, we're on the low power range. So I want 400 milliwatts, it's currently doing 600 milliwatts. Uh, I think you've got to balance these, I don't think there's a, as you mess with one, the, the other goes out of kilter. So going to full power. Oh, we've got four watts um, on, yeah, we've got four watts on channel 20, see where it is elsewhere got four watts on channel 40 we've got four watts on channel one no doubt i did all that i can't remember we've seen the editing so that's four watts four watts 400 milliwatts back to full power and 1.45 amps which is nice that i brought the current consumption down and the power up a deviation this in I think. Wallow. So we've gone to test set behind but to do that I'll have to leave it 10 minutes for the other machine to warm up. Okay so we're hooked up to the test set it's greater than 5 kilohertz I won't get an exact reading which is what we got on the Marconi test set uh, when we did the initial test. Um, so we'll drop that down. I can remember where the deviation is. Because you've got mic gain and you've got deviation. So. It's 10. And it's at full. Wow. Just make sure that sounds how we'd expect it to sound on the hand portable. Well, where am I going? Testing one, two, testing one, two. That sounds great. Okay. So we'll connect that back up to the Marconi test set. See what the Marconi test set says. Wow, it says it's about three. I think it's lying today. So we don't do the VCO. Let's see where the frequency is now. It will rise. I'm only we're only like 15 minutes later. So 9090. Oh, oh. Obviously, got a tired reference because we, it's within, um, it, you know, it wouldn't even, no, nobody would notice it was uh, slightly down at all. Uh, and by the time it has the test gears warmed up, it will be greater than that. Um, right, so meter on the front, what does it say? This 0 to 10. Um, it's not. It doesn't really mean what. So these people were making an export radio called a TriStar 727, also seen as a Colt Triple Four. I know we've got a, a smashed up one for bits, and they're alleged to be 10 watts out, but they weren't. And um, there you go. It was BS. Um, so 
we really need to be in the centre of the red zone, which is where we are. So, um, otherwise you'll end up with it looking like it's hardly putting anything out when it's perfect. So just see where the meter adjustment is. VR3 Yeah, it is somewhere Let's put the other glasses on See VR1 there, which is the low power which we've adjusted, and VR3. Yeah, it's right at the back. Yes, yeah, so it's in the centre of the red zone. But if I set it so that it reads four, it'd be ridiculous. See what we've got with the meter for receive. So put 100 microvolts on the test generator. So it's pegging the needle now. Um, oh no, no we're, we're, we're about there now. It is, it's come right because the radio's now right. Um, unless I did adjust it before, which wasn't, shouldn't have been possible. There we go. So that's that. We'll do the volume control, it's a little bit noisy. There we are, so we're, we're done. And receive the still where it should be. Let's put another tone on. Right, we'll plug it to the aerial. the extension speaker instead of instead of the test gear speaker. So we'll do an on the air test tomorrow with this. I haven't got Mr. Chippy today. One and a Roger. You know what, I've still got the plastic protection to peel off on that knob. Right, so we'll leave it on 19. And 
to see whether anybody actually comes through on their burners from Nottingham. So, bit of a disjointed video. I'm going to be cleaning that with isopropyl alcohol as well. Um, but we got there in the end. Thanks for watching the convoy, uh, the D'Amico convoy from 1981.